now on Denver 7 News at 6. Ready to hit the road. Team coverage to help you avoid delays on the kickoff to the holiday weekend. I'm Eric Lufer helping you navigate around the busiest days on the roads this holiday weekend here in the mountains. And popular local spots promise to be packed. And Bear Creek Lake Park could hit capacity before some people wake up on Saturday morning. We'll tell you how to plan for the crowds this 4th of July weekend. Also this morning, word that a coronavirus vaccine will be ready by Christmas. The huge challenge ahead, even with a shot available. And spitting and coughing on Denver workers because they ask customers to wear a mask. What comes to mind is just like disrespect. The owner of an ice cream shop says his staff are facing abuse for trying to stay safe. You can't be angry while getting ice cream, right? I know. It's like a rule. Right. <laughs> Good Thursday morning to you. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brian Sanders. And I'm Molly Hendrickson. It is a beautiful start to our Thursday on the Front Range. Might be a good day to get some ice cream. The holiday weekend is shaping up to be a warm one as well. Yeah, eat it quick before it melts. Lisa Hidalgo joins us now from her home weather center, and it will be even hotter than yesterday. Yeah, good ice cream weather, and I have to disagree with you. I think it depends on the flavor. I've been a little angry at a few flavors, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> really? uh, good weather, though. A little hazy out there, though. This is from Lookout Mountain. Obviously not the prettiest shot of downtown Denver this morning. We're under an ozone action day alert again today until at least 4 o'clock. So those with any respiratory illness, you do want to try to limit your time outside. We're looking at temperatures right around 9 o'clock at about 72. It's going to be a mostly sunny, pretty warm start to our day. 86 by noon, and then by 3 to 4 o'clock, we're hit hitting highs in the low to mid 90s. So it's a hot one. Up and down the front range, toasty. Some near triple-digit heat for southeastern Colorado. 70s and 80s for the mountains. So today we're looking at some pretty dry conditions. Let's skip ahead to the 4th of July. We'll talk more about this coming up, but there is going to be a risk of severe weather on Saturday. Details in just a few minutes. Of drivers on our roads with social distancing concerns, many people are opting to drive instead of fly. We're even seeing a surge in RV rentals as people plan to get away while ensuring they stick to their social bubble. Number seven, Derek Lufer is live for us this morning, checking on the advice for drivers ahead of the holiday weekend. But first, we want to send it over to First Alert traffic anchor Jason Luber for a look at the current conditions this morning. Jason. And so far, Brian, it really looks pretty nice, including getting to or from DIA. If you do have to catch a flight this holiday weekend, it's only 10 minutes out there with light security wait times. Take a look at 225. It'll be busy around the Cherry Creek State Park right now. 225, at least the highway and the Cherry Creek Dam Road that you can see on the top of the screen, they look okay, but it still will be busy around Bear Lake and also over at Chatfield as well. Right now, across Metro Denver, I'm not seeing any significant delays around town. It's going to be a pretty good looking, I think, pretty light commute for us, including in areas like ice. 70 to the central project or even down in the gap project where construction activities will be on hold for the holiday weekend up into the high country right now it looks great we're looking at drive times at about 55 to 60 minutes and our team coverage continues right now with denver 7 reporter eric lufer who is up in idaho springs right now taking a look at the traffic and eric i've been watching some of the uh, cameras up there like around uh, floyd hill idaho springs and i have seen a fair amount of campers heading up that way as folks are getting ready for a early start to the holiday weekend yeah, the RVs, they're out in droves this morning, but I will say at 6 o'clock, it still looks just fine up here. Traffic flowing really nicely. That's how it works. If you're up early, you can skip all the headaches when it comes to traffic, but once we get to mid-morning here, it's really going to get busy, especially up through Idaho Springs into Georgetown and even further west. Speaking of further west, let's take you up to the Eisenhower Tunnel. We've got a CDOT camera. We've been watching that all morning. Still looking good at the Eisenhower John.